Well, hello everybody out there in YouTube land. How you doing today? What I'm doing today here, I'm back with the, some more walking stick embellishments. And uh, see the last video, uh, we show, showed you how to put a, a tip on the end of this cane. Now, you, if you followed me all the way through here, we I've had several broken this into several parts, from the beginner to the advanced. Last one was advanced embellishments, and this one's going to be uh, about an advanced embellishment also. But today, uh, we're going to work on this end. And what you do here is going to raise the value, each thing you do, you're raising the value of the stick. Now, the more you do, uh, the more you're going to have to, or you could charge for it. This way, uh, you know, now we could leave it just the way it is. We could stop at any point. I'm going to show you my technique for making a mushroom. We're going to make a morel on the end of this, and I think you're going to like how I've done it. So stay tuned and let's get with that. Now, for safety reasons, I put some tape around there so we don't leave that dangling around this saw. Now, what I'm going to do is, is start here at any, any angle, and we're going to cut start cutting some angles across here. Turn that off a minute. What I'm doing here now is just using a band saw to get this tapered a little bit just to avoid uh, uh, that Take, uh, take away some of the carving. We've got to grind this away or cut it off or something. And it's best to go, if you're doing a mushroom, I always trim it down here first. Now we have a flat, and I'll go to that flat area and kind of set it down like that. And then I can get in and take another slot. So I'm gonna make several. Okay, now see what I did. I've got no particular angle here. You just you just make that make about four cuts. Take off some of the bulk of that. Save you a lot of whittling there or grinding. I, I, we're going to power carve this thing, so we'll get that Dremel on it and I'll show you where to go from here. First of all, we're just going to be doing shaping. And we want to uh, get off the square corners and kind of make a, I like to kind of roughly in a, in a bottom or a base, like, like so, get a basic bottom for the bottom of the, kind of the bottom of the mushroom is going to be, as far as the paper. Now, right here, we're just going to, Knocking the square corners off. All the way around. To do the mushrooms are fairly easy to do. Just get your cone started and then turn around in it to where you don't have any flat spots on that cone. 
and, uh, and your vases were there. So we want to do the bulk of this stem before we start doing the decorations in the top. Morel should have a long, skinny base that you don't want on a walking stick, or they can be a fairly short base also in the wild. And uh, we have some nice sized morels in Missouri, all over the Midwest, actually. I was born and raised in Indiana. And that's the land of the mild over there, too. I want to stop a minute. We can see we got the cone shape pretty good. And I don't know if we can see that at this angle very good, but uh, we've, we've cut this deep all the way around. And then we established this bottom where your, where your base is going to be. And then you go back and go a little deeper up here. And we don't want to get that real thin because we don't want that breaking off. Uh, but we want it to slightly taper from under here to back to the base. So once we get that, once we get this tapered a little bit, then we're going to taper this whole thing right down in. We might need a little bit of a ledge right here. But the uh, main thing is going to be tapered from here down to the space and we want this a little smoother than what the top's going to be once we get around now with this we can go over it and kind of smooth and things out and we'll be done with the stem now i'm just going to go over it lightly this way. Now is where we're going to get it polished up. We're going to have clear over this. We want the stalk to be sort of white. Or off white. And we're going to leave the, the base of it. Just like a little ledge there. Going into the varnish part that you have. Gives it a real natural look. Now I want to get it in lots of light here and make sure that we got the camera settled up really good and there's no flat edges. That's uh, looking pretty good right now. We'll uh, just have to stay tuned and look, look and see what we do. Hold it like a pencil now. I don't know which, which way. Anyway, now you gotta be careful. You gotta hold it really steady and uh, start making some holes. And I'm just kind of going all over it. And really, don't hurt if you run the holes together. They're gonna look pretty aesthetic when they get done. Now, really be careful out on the end because you can slip like that. And it's very, very hard to get a, get a good start. Be careful and get right into your, right into your skin. It just almost got me. I don't know if I did a little bit, but, uh, not too bad. Uh -huh. Well, what we're ready to do now, though, is to take take this and the same hole, and we will go down and try, like we're going to carve these together and to make a thin line. between them.
so we can we can just kind of go around and get them to one hole to join the other one. Starting to look pretty good. Uh, and we're just about, we're just about finished. We've got it looking where we want it. We're just about right. Uh, what I do is, is get this torch. Okay, have a little bit of 150 grit of sandpaper, and I'll just kind of knock the edges off of that. Okay, here, there's my finger. I you haven't cleaned it up yet, uh, but it's not too bad. Now, if we put a little clear coat. So there we have it, the finished embellishment for the walking stick. If you've ever been out and picked them, they are delicious. And uh, that's about it for this video. And I'll see you in the next video, whether it's about a walking stick or not, I'm not sure. But I'll see you in that next video. Looking forward to it.